Hello everybody, Andrea here with Dental L. Let's talk about why does somebody need to sign up for a tutoring program to get help for the board exam? Why do you need tutoring help? Why do you feel, you know, why can't you just study on your own? So let me tell you exactly how tutoring can really help. Signing up for a tutoring prep course can really help you pass the board exam. And that's the ultimate goal, isn't it? You want to be able to pass, you want to not have to worry about it, and you want to really be able to focus your studying so you get to that ultimate goal, which is passing the board exam. So how is tutoring different? Tutoring is different and signing up for a tutoring course. So I can only speak for my tutoring course and how I do it with my students. So it's different because once you do sign up, you log in to the full prep course and all of the PowerPoints, all of the materials, the mock exams, the quizzes, the session recordings are right there for you in a very organized format. So anatomy, title, and then you have the PowerPoints, you have the videos, all of that right there. Let's say you want to study community. There's the community title. There you go. Whereas if you were studying on your own, you don't really know what to study, when to study it, how long to study it. You don't know what you should focus on or what you don't have to focus on. So you're probably just taking all of your textbooks, taking your notes from school and saying, today I'm going to read this textbook or today I'm going to read two chapters of this or I'm going to take my notes, but you probably never feel like you've really accomplished anything because if you're trying to study on your own, you are studying, but then after eight hours, you might be saying, okay, I, I just studied eight hours. Yes, I think I learned a lot, but I really don't know what I was supposed to learn or which way you should be going. With tutoring, with my prep course that I teach, I outline everything for you so you know what to study, how long to study it for, and basically what you should know with the mock exam quizzes. So how it works is when you sign up for the course, as I said, you will see topics. So you would read the PowerPoint on that topic, and then you would watch a session recording where I have talked to you guys about that PowerPoint, or even sometimes where I just talk to you guys about that topic and mock exam questions to really prepare you. So there's always a mix. It's not just you reading PowerPoints or listening to me talking to you. There's a mix on every single topic, which is the best way to study so you don't get as bored. And then after you study a topic, there's mock exams for you to take. There's mock exams, there's like quizzes, there's case studies, all of that. So you study what I tell you to, when to do it, and then you take the quiz to make sure you know and understand that information. If you don't do well on the quiz, well, guess what? Study it again, take the quiz again, and then you'll do better. Worst case, you just still don't get it. I'm here to help you. So we have live tutoring sessions once a week for one hour where I answer questions. If there's not a lot of questions, then I will go through a topic and go through mock exam questions with you so that you have constant practice on picking the best answer. You can't do that on your own. If you have a question while you're studying on your own, who do you ask? Your teacher? They're not going to email you back. Let me tell you right now. I wish um, your teachers, your professors would have a board exam prep course when you went to school, but they just simply don't do it. And you can't study on your own. It's too difficult. You will spend so much longer studying. Let's say you do study on your own. That's fine. But what ends up happening is you will literally spend so much longer studying. You will learn so much more than you have to. All of that stress, all of those hours that you could have gone Christmas shopping or hanging out with your friends have been wasted because you've been studying on your own, not really knowing what to do, where to start. But with my course, I show you guys what to study, when to study. And with all of that, I tell you guys when to take a day off, basically. I mean, you can take days off, of course, whenever you want. You can study all the way through if you want. But I kind of teach you guys how to plan your time, mark on your calendar what to study, when, when to take breaks. A little hint, I tell my students, study six hours a day at the most two hours a day at the least. So it depends if you have a full-time job. I'm not going to make you study for six hours every day with a full-time job. You won't retain anything. But this is where on your days off, you might just have to work a little harder to get the extra studying, um, studying in. 
and it will take you longer to get through everything. I tell my students, sign up for a board exam prep course as soon as you can. Honestly, you don't have to wait two weeks before you take the board exam. You, do, you don't even have to wait three months. It's up to you. Sign up for it now, study a little bit at a time, take your time. Plus that, that accounts for when you get sick. What if you get sick? You're not going to want to study for those three days or a week. You, you can't afford to take a break. Yes, you can, because I will get you back on track to get you organized. Whereas if you're studying on your own, you might take three days off. Sorry, guys, allergies. And then go, shoot, where did I leave off? What should I study next? I feel like I took three days off. Why did I do that? It's just complicated and it's stressful. Signing up for a tutoring program is less stressful. You will become more confident, meaning you will pass that exam. You study exactly what you have to, not more and not less. So there's a very, very fine line. You don't want to study too much, but then you don't want to study too little because then you're really going to be screwed. And I'm here to help you. There is a private um, Facebook group for my members only. So if you guys have a question at 2 a.m., post in that group, somebody will help you. I'll be sleeping, but I can get to that question the next morning easily. So you have constant access to me, literally 24 seven, except when I'm sleeping and I can help you guys. You can't get that on your own. Even if you have a question as you're going through mock exams or you know something on your own, who are you gonna ask if you have a question? Are you going to email your teacher? Are they gonna get back to you? Probably not. Even if you ask a friend of yours, they probably don't know the answer either. Ask the professional, I can help you right away. You don't have to think about it and then you can move on. It's the best thing. So I will leave the links for you guys on the bottom. I do tutor for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students for the board exam. I was a dental assistant. I am now a dental hygienist. I've done both exams. This is why I can help you guys. A lot of people ask if I'm in Canada, can I sign up? If I'm in the US, can I sign up? If I'm in the state, you know, yes, it's an international program. So when you sign up, you will let me know, are you from Canada or, or are you from the States? And I send you that link to that program. So the links that I'm going to leave you guys on the bottom, it is called the Dental Hygiene Board Exam Prep Academy or the Dental Assisting Board Exam Prep Academy. Just sign up for the one, either Dental Hygiene or Dental Assisting, and then I send you all the right info depending on where you live. So if you're taking a Dental Hygiene exam, this is for you. If you're taking a Dental Assisting um, exam, this course is for you. I teach students online internationally, everywhere, and they have passed. There is still a 99.4% success rate helping students pass. It was 99.3 last year, I believe. So it's actually gone up. Let me check that for you, but I believe it has. And it might even be, nor be more now. I check it always at the end of the year. So that's a pretty high success rate, 99% let's say. That's pretty darn good. So let me know, you guys. Comment below if you have any questions. I do try to get to my YouTube comments once a week, so please be patient with me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys hopefully soon inside my program. We have another live session. We just did one this morning. Um, we have another live session for students next Saturday, so I hope to see you guys there. Talk to you soon. Bye.